Hello once again fellas. Today I'm sharing with you something very exciting to me. This video contains my very first successful elite deep dive done completely solo and with no Bosco. This was a lengthy journey and a particularly humbling experience. If I'm ready, let me go see if I can turn off Bosco. Yep, here we go. Bye bye Bosco. I don't need him. I'm a pro. I'm gonna do this first try. I already know it. No! Ah! Oh. Well, that's that. Oh! Oh, that was close! Really? Okay. I think I know what I need to do. Instead of Berserker, I'm going with Heightened Senses. That Cave Leech cluster in the beginning was problematic, but once I ran with Heightened Senses, I was set on the right track for victory. The gameplay featured in this video will be that of my third attempt. There were many trials and tribulations, successes and failures, but not even the brutal caves of Hoxes can stop a steadfast dwarf. Oh my god, I'm going to cry from these web spitters. Leave me alone! So, sit back, kick your feet up, and grab a snack maybe, and join me on this journey to the core of Hoxes. So I already have a, uh, an idea of what I'm going to bring with me this mission. You know, uh, initially I kind of wanted to bring the um, the Fire Strike build because seeing how I just released the Fire Fire Strike uh, episode of Build Bite, it would be a little fitting. But I decided instead I'd go with my more versatile build. Uh, this is a more standardized build. We've just got the Lead Storm with the Lead Storm Overclock. You can't move while shooting, but you get a huge um, boost to your damage. Going with accuracy, damage, blow through rounds just to be better against crowds. Going with the increase to damage whenever you're fully stabilized, it's very nice to have with a damage build. And cold as the grave, so I can just keep unleashing that sustained fire for as long as I need to, so long as I'm killing things, of course. For my sidearm, I'm going mostly uh, with a neurotoxin explosive build, so I'm not going heavy into damage, but I'd like to slow groups of targets with relative ease. And as well as that, I'm going with the 6-shooter, which should allow me uh, more of an opportunity to apply that poison effect. So that's what I'm bringing with me as far as my weaponry is concerned. Uh, because it's a Salt Pits Elite Deep Dive, for my shield generator, I'm actually going to go with the Lasting Effect. The reason I'm doing this is because Salt Pits uh, have the unique roly-poly kind of type of enemy. It's like a Coronar Youngling. You know, they'll, they'll, they tend to knock you out of your position. And uh, I don't want to rely too heavily on remaining inside of my shield just in case I get knocked out by one of those Coronars. So, yeah, that's what I'm bringing with me. The Gunner definitely isn't the most nimble character in the bunch. He's not necessarily great for solo play. In fact, he's probably the worst... Mm, not the worst... He's definitely the more uh, limited mobility character, maybe not ideal to take with you on solo missions. So normally I would like this, uh, uh, these extra 5 degrees of angles, but instead I think the max ammo would be more useful just because of how limited my mobility already is. I need that, that say, I, there, say there's some minerals up on the ceiling, definitely want to have the zip lines to expend in order to get to it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and apply that. Alright, cluster grenade. It's very straightforward. You throw it on the ground. Boom, there it goes. Everything's dead. What about my perks? Elemental insulation. I don't like the lingering effect of Praetorians and the lingering effect of acid spitters. They already deal a lot of damage as it is. So, I have that 30% resistance going. But I think I might go with strong arm because I won't have a boss go. Friendly. I obviously don't need that. So let's go with... 
I think actually I will go with Resupplier. Because I won't have Bosco watching my back. I could get sniped by an Acid Spitter. So the less time I spend at those resupplies standing perfectly still, the better. So yeah, I'll go ahead and take resupply. Let's see what, uh, oh, wait a minute. Tunnel Rat is the beer right here. I'll go ahead and take that. That'll reduce my fall damage. Maybe allowing me to knock off the Hover Boots perk. So I'm gonna go knock off that Hover Boots perk real quick. Here we are, back again. Minus, welcome to the deep dive. The horrors of Hoxties await you. Work hard, stay focused, and keep an eye on your objectives. The hardest part about this mission is the, um, the cave leeches, essentially. Good Not getting leeched is an essential part of this uh, mission. Stand clear of the landing zone, team. Drill those are coming in. Ideally, I wouldn't get leached at all, but poor old me. I get leached all the time. All canisters fueled. Drill dose is ready to make more progress. Go ahead, Dorito. Let's get this mission rolling. Drill dose are operational and homing in on the hot stone. We are Amaron bound. We're coming for that Amaron stone. Me and my beautiful purple gloves. By the way, I was just granted the honor of wearing this fancy streamer armor, even though I never live stream. So I'm very happy about that. Looks, I love it. I absolutely love it. Incoming swarm. Keep the dozer safe. I swear, if a detonator spawns again, I am going to think that there's some sort of conspiracy theory. Seems there's no detonator though, so. Lucky me. I am wasting flares, I need to stop doing that. Yeah, that's right, I remember you. There's gonna be a spawn, see? Woo! Oh, that scared me. Web spitters, I hate you guys. The sounds you make scare me. Give me the frighten. Oh, there he is. You're late this time, detonator. That's what you get for not showing up on time. I know you're better than this detonator. A greater number of grunts this time around. Less Praetorians, it seems. Maybe an equal amount of Websters. Get wrecked. Where is this breeder? Will not live long. Or she'll? She'll not live long? What are you? You're getting way too close. I don't, I'm not comfortable with that. Hello! Start- Whoa! Haha! <laughs> Okay, that's my fault. I was not paying attention. I guess I should have had that coming. That one almost got me last time too. But look, it's in such a sneaky spot. Like, look at that. You, you would never expect it to come from there. Oh, hello.
Quit it. Whoa. Started running away? God, even you guys make that annoying sound. Very frightening. Man. Cave leeches are the bane of my existence. Like, I already hated cave leeches, but I've never attempted to do a solo EDD with no Bosco until now, and I think, I, I think I've developed a new kind of hatred for them. Oh, I hear a spawn. Don't worry, Doretta, I will protect you. Oh, I'll, I'll protect you. Don't worry. Stop screaming, everything's fine. You're okay, Doretta. It's just a flesh wound. See, look, you're only at half health. It's fine. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some grenades aimlessly. Sorry, Doretta. Is it? Is that an indication of a swarm? Or was Mission Control calling me wildlife? Oh, there they are. Not ground. Hello? Oh, I hear a warden. Oh, I see you, warden. Oh, there's another. Uh oh. Not so good. Oh, I will not let them do this, Eudoretta. Don't worry. No. Dorada, no! That will save you! Hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Okay. I can't believe that worked. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I'm gonna go ahead and pat myself on the back for that one. Good thinking. Thanks, me. I appreciate that. Let's go ahead. Ooh. Don't slip. Oh! Cool. Excuse me. There we go. I maybe don't have to do this. Oh, hello. I heard you guys. You think you're sneaky, huh? Here I come. Look at you. Having a good old time. <laughs> oh my god. Why do I do this to myself? Alright, this I'm going to knock down into that pit. I wish my pickaxe could reach this far. Imagine if dwarves had like a mining beam pickaxe. That would be pretty dope. Alright, down you go. Whoa, don't fall. Alright. I'm still alive. Get down here, Molly. Jesus. Even though I'm in the south, they can hardly do a southern accent. There we go. I'm loving it. <laughs> Why did I just... Why did I just say the McDonald's slogan? Looking good, looking good so far. I'm still alive. I'm pretty confident in my ability to complete this mission. Not so sure about the others, though. My primary goal is to not die. 
Thank you for existing, Molly. Here we go. Oh no! Uh, what, what do I do? Um, here. This actually isn't that big of a deal if it's just Mactera. <laughs> Stay away. Shoo. Wow. You know, I may as well go ahead and take the other resupply. The drill dozer is fueled and ready to go. Go on ahead, Doretta. Ready. The drill dozer is en route to the hot stone. I'm going to save my flares as much as possible so that I can be aware of any leeches. So, normally I would throw- look how many flares I throw over there, that was totally unnecessary. I need to be conscious of the flares I throw. Oh, hello! Oh no, I did it. I threw my flare regardless of what I just said. Alright, here we are. Oh! Hello! Alright. So I didn't even need to drop a shield. That opens up a lot of possibilities for me. Some nitro there. I will definitely note that for later. Doretta is at 99%. That is ideal. Oh, I just threw a flare. Maybe that was a useful flare. Okay. This is a problem. I'm looking good on Nitra. I'd like to have at least two before I move on. I see you. Noob. That's right, I went there. Ow. Very disrespectful. Wow, this cave is very large. Uh, that looks like that's where they are. Hey, you. That's right, I see you. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa, where did you guys come from? It really doesn't take much to damage Doretta. Hmm. Well done. All canisters are loaded. The drill dozer is ready to move out. I know it may irk some people that I'm not getting any of the gold. And believe me, it irks me as well. Because I'm in a part in the game uh, where promotions cost 147,000 credits. And uh, I need all the gold I can get. Because right now it's it's really a net loss of credits if I don't play my cards right. So believe me, it's it's very troubling that I'm not getting the gold. I am a dwarf by my very nature. I really like gold. So I also like nitra, and that's why I'm breaking my legs to get this nitra. Let's go. All right, Dorito. Time to get going. Oops. Drill does are moving. Everything looks fine, but expect that to change soon. Where is she going? I think she's going exactly where I thought she might go. 
No, don't leave me behind. No. Oh, this sucks. You and your stupid flying abilities. I'll catch up with you. I think. See, these are exactly the kind of caves I hate. Whoa! Ah! Dorado! No! Stop! I do not consent! Oh, goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Not so good. I need to be conscious of my shield. I was really tempted to use a shield there. But I, it's that cooldown. Oh, jeez. Go away, go away! Ah. What's over here? Low roofs. Exactly what I don't like. That didn't even make sense for it to be there. Can you stop webbing me? Alright. This cave. Not a fan. What's going on in here? Leech. Okay, that's safe. Oh, there's a leech there. Huh. This seed and its web spitters are going to drive me insane. They already have driven me insane. Doretta, why? We've made it. I believe we've made it. That would have sucked. Good thing I didn't follow you, Doretta. Seems there's none here. Alright, so I'm actually confident about this fight. I can do high single target damage to the rocks with this build. And the, the poles, with my accuracy, I should be able to shoot them with relative ease. So. The odds are in our favor. Starting. We're gonna kick your ass, Amaron. Prepare to be penetrated. Go away, acid spitter is just such nonsense. Going to get a resupply. First, I'm going to throw this and that. Hello! Oh my god, I'm going to cry from these web spitters. Leave me alone! Extraction at 75%. Oh, 
Agent, almost there. You're okay, Doretta. This is like a tech. Can you stop? Can you stop that? All right. Swarm detected. Keep the drill dose operational at all costs. The swarm is upon you. This is driving me crazy. Okay, that's fine. It's okay. We've done it. Everything's fine. That wasn't actually as difficult as I expected it to be, so... I'm sorry, Dottie. I will miss you, Dorito. Dorito. She died with honor and with grace. <sighs> wow, that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Look at that. The reflections. This game is very pretty. I usually play this game on low settings, but um, that's only for performance. Now to backtrack throughout the cave. I don't have to worry about Doretta. Hello. I do have- Woo! Why are you so fast? I do, however, have to worry about detonators. Whoa, that was cool. Damn! <laughs> okay. This is nice. Just running around, enjoying the scenery. The spawn rates aren't going crazy. Nothing's trying to kill me. Everything is just fine. All I need to do is repair these mini mules and I will be good to go. One strategy I am not utilizing that I probably should is the zipline perch strategy. That might be particularly useful on these solo missions. People don't like it whenever you use the zipline perch in multiplayer, uh, usually. Although they might not tell you, they'll tolerate it. Uh, you might get some shady looks. I'm actually making a video- Oh, oh my god, I hear spawns. I'm actually making a video on the zipline strategy. I'm not exactly sure when that will be ready, but uh, hopefully soon. It's going to be a longer video akin to that of the, the scout grenade video, hopefully. I need to make a longer video to contrast the short video that is the build bite fire strike video. I'm very proud of that video by the way. It took me like 40 to 50 hours to edit that one. Okay, I'll try that again. <sighs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> uh... I hear you, Mini Mule. I have come to answer your call of distress. Your consistent beeping has not gone unanswered. I recall there were some leeches over there so I will stay clear from that area well done. The mule's working again. let's get out of here is on the way. Clock is ticking. Move it, team. where is it at all the way back towards the Amaron it seems we are Amaron bound again the mule has been called back 
Watch the next uh, mission also be a cave leech cluster. Come at me, bro. See, this is one perk of using the Leadstorm mod. You can get behind Praetorians. And while they're spitting, uh, the lack of stun actually works in your favor. Because they won't cancel their attack. Watch. Well, if he actually spits me. There you go. So you can get behind them. Well, that wasn't a good demonstration. But you know what? You get the point. go ahead and get that resupply real quick so I can get my zip line. How long was this mission? 41 minutes! Wow! Wow, okay. I guess this is what happens when you don't have a Bosco. Hello, I have come to ignore you. Or I will just ignore you. This would normally be the time I salute Bosco, but alas. going to be a hazard 5 meal repair with the side objective being eggs. So we're going to get the spawns of mules, we're going to get the egg spawns. This might be rough. This might be really rough actually. Let's get this going. Here we go. <laughs> what if I just instantly got leeched? <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Minus, you're doing well so far. Management sent their regards. Get ready for the second stage of the deep dive. Thank you, loot bugs, for the nitra. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, there's actually some merch going on with Deep Rock. You can actually get a Loot Bug plushie. I went ahead and pre-ordered one of those myself. Uh, they have very long legs, but uh, they, they're definitely cool looking. Like, I don't know about you, but I definitely don't see these legs as what the plushie legs are. But, hey, it's a Loot Bug plushie. What, what more can you want? Imagine they had a, like, full-size Loot Bug pillow, like a... A pillow the size of a loot bug that you could actually use to rest your head on. That might be pretty cool. That's a good merch idea. Somebody take notes. No leeches there. Oh. Okay, so there's acid spitters, that's a problem. That's a real threat, actually. I do have elemental insulation. But still. Lots of projectile spitting enemies here. Whoa! Almost fell. I might have just heard one behind me. A spawn behind me, that is.
Those things got a little crazy there. I haven't taken any health damage. I'm very surprised at that. Considering how busy I've been. Okay, there we go. I jinxed myself. I don't want to go down there at all. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a shield. Although that probably wasn't necessary. So, like I was saying, what I'm trying to do is line, my, line myself up so that I can get this red sugar just in case I need it. That's for ease of access. I need to be down here anyway. Did I get the red sugar? Yeah! Spot on. Alright. I'm expecting a huge swarm. Whenever you come into close proximity of these mules, they will actually spawn small waves. Well, small I say small, but they can be impressively large. Like that. Any leeches? Nope. Whoa! Hello! Incoming. Throwing a grenade. Any leeches? Nope. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, I missed that so hard. That was embarrassing. That's a problem. All right, blow through rounds, kicking in. I'm glad I got that shield perk. I'll take the hits. That was worth it. Throwing another grenade. I could very well use a zip line, but I'm fine. The health I've lost, I need uh, is no big deal because I can get it back very easily with the resupply that I need, regardless. <laughs> I wanted to get this down right. You can throw that really far away if you really wanted to. There we go. Oh. There you go. Yeah, if you don't know that strategy, use the turn speed momentum to propel the item forward. So basically, you what I do is I use my laser pointer while I'm flicking my wrist. And then you can actually like throw things across chasms and stuff. Entire caves, you can easily throw a leg across or a gym or anything. I wonder what PETA thinks about this game. Like, we all know that PETA pretends to care about animals, but like, do they care about bugs? Goodness. Destroy 
I think I already need a resupply. Wow, look at all that nitro I have. All those loot bugs, man. Ooh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. If I fall, I will land on that zipline. Look at that damage. He didn't even get to shoot a projectile. He probably thinks I'm cheating. Agile dwarf. But not an elf. Don't get it confused. What is the ideal place to be located in? There are those holes. Down there, I have to deal with Coronar. You know what? I'll, I'd rather deal with the Coronar than a chaotic environment. Nothing? Okay. You know, this actually isn't a terrible spot. It's right next to the bad bowl. Look at the gorgeous lighting. being surrounded. Anything surrounding me? Oh. See, even though this overclock uh, requires you to stand still, all that really means is you are unable to move while shooting. It doesn't mean that you are... Okay, let me rephrase that. All it means is you are unable to input movement... Um, movement commands. Movement commands while uh, shooting. So you can still jump in the air just fine. It's just the game won't read your, your movement commands while you're holding the trigger. So if you jump just before you... Uh, just before you begin shooting, in the direction with which you'd like to travel, um, you can still remain pretty nimble. And in fact, you might develop some pretty good bunny hopping skills, which, just is, which is just a good tactic in general. So, Lead Storm, the overclock, isn't necessarily detrimental to your success. Hello! Oh, I don't like this. Okay, he'll die. Luckily, as a gunner, I can hold a position pretty well. Especially if I go ahead and shoot up some zip lines. J just the right height so that I might... Uh, remain inside of the zone of the uplink. I can suspend myself pretty easily. But the thing is, is this seed has a lot of projectile spitting enemies, so I'm not so sure how smoothly this strategy will go. I'll have to keep an eye out. Oh! Okay, so there are detonators. There are definitely detonators in this seed, but I guess they just don't spawn super frequently. Okay. If mission control weren't talking in my ear, then I may have been able to hear him. Okay, I'm in a bad spot. Check out that hole. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Man, that quote can be taken out of context in the most unpleasant way possible. I probably should have let this stay up on the surface of the ground because I, I am going to be suspended, suspended above it. But that's fine, you know. Totally okay. 
Okay. I can see. I can see. I wish. I almost wish I was an, an engineer. I don't want to aggro that warden because or that menace because apparently he doesn't see me. The only thing that could go wrong right now is if an, uh, a detonator were to show up. Or an oppressor. I'll try to slow him down. Oh, wow! Whoa! That was a slasher. Alright, well, let's take care of the rest of these guys. This is another perk of the Lead Storm minigun, is uh, you don't stun menaces. Which means, you, you know, usually whenever menaces get stunned, once they recover from the stun, they tend to, they tend to go away immediately afterwards, And if, if you haven't noticed that. Like whenever I shoot a, a menace with my revolver, it tends to stun them, and once they recover, they just, they burrow back into the ground. But... If you're using the Lead Storm minigun with the Lead Storm overclock, they don't get that privilege. So you can just hammer them continuously with very powerful bullets that hurt quite a bit. So I'm in a very vulnerable position here. Um, what could very well end up being the case is the acid spitters, since they're so close to me, uh, they'll just be able to murk me instantly. So. Perhaps not so good. Oh, come on. There we go. Ask the spitter, yep, just as I said. I can't even trust the walls. Wow. I think that was the game judging me for using the zipline strat. Wow, this is going extremely well. Mm. Ah. Now you arrive. Get out of my shield. It's my shield. Sucks. Oh, this really sucks. Okay, stay calm, stay calm, it's alright. You're still alive. You just need to remain that way for 20 seconds. You're perfectly fine. Oh no. Oh, you're about to die. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, okay, dropping a shield.
Let's go, let's go! Yeah! Get me out- oh, I forgot we're going deeper. This is a deep dive. Okay, well, hey, that's great. That's wonderful. I'm still alive. I can continue onward. Here we are collecting at about an hour and 12 minutes without a Bosco. And here we've got Exploder Infestation, but it's just... We just have to collect four eggs and repair two mini mules. That's really straightforward, unless I get careless and end up in a claustrophobic spot with tight spaces where I cannot escape, or a slasher somehow slashes me, or whatever, I'm caught with my pants down, then I'm dead. Stage three. You need to watch out for the crystals. If there's an explosion beneath them, they will fall. So. Miners, you've done very well so far. Judging from these readings, I've had doubts you'll make it through stage three, but we'll see. You surprised me before. Bird nexus. Eyes on your objectives. Let's get it done. Menaces. Oh shit! I need to call a resupply. Oh! Okay! I'm taking some of the ammo. Yeah, watch. See how as soon as it comes out of stun, it instantly um, burrows away. But when I just use my lead storm, it doesn't get stunned, so it doesn't burrow away. Under normal circumstances, usually I would zip line down there. Actually, I wouldn't. I would be. I would. I would reluctantly do so, maybe, because of leeches and such. But because I only have one life, I do not want to play so recklessly as to do that. I'm very low on ammo, so I might actually take two of these resupplies. I have the nitro, so this is something I can afford to do. Actually, now that I think about it, it may actually be better that I go into the open. Are you guys going to start detonating or what? Like, come on. Okay. Yeah, those ice- no, those icicles. Those salt spikes will hurt a lot. You know what? That's actually not a very big cave, so I'm going to just zip down here, not get leached. Oh, there they are! Luckily, this is actually perfect, because I'm a gunner with explosive damage resistance. But I don't want to allow that to make me complacent. This is a hazard 5.5, so everything has substantially more health. And I take substantially more damage from everything. So far I haven't seen any acid spitters, I don't think. I'm just going to repair these mules. 
remain aware of everything around me, hopefully, and not explode or get crushed by stalactites or get slashed by a slasher. Slashers can ruin everything. Just ruin all of your momentum. They completely halt your movement. Speak of the devil. Supply. Good thing I shot that one on the head totally on purpose. Whoa! Oh, that's not good! I did not hear that detonator. Oh my god. Okay. Still alive. That resupply definitely came in handy. That was like a small swarm, actually. That was not small by any means. But... Uh, web spitters. At least they aren't acid spitters. I'm going to try to hurry this up, because, uh... Yeah, I had a bunch of nitro, but... I don't want to end up running out of all that. It's still theoretically possible. Oh, come on now, leave me alone. Man, I wish these web spitters would just leave me alone. I'm like, cursed by these web spitters right now. Oh, come on. Really? Oh, my cat's meowing. These spawns are really going crazy. And it's not just exploders. No, that's a sizable spawn. Of grunts, I guess. So it's not that big a deal. Really? This is constant pressure at all times. Alright. Getting the next egg. Please be a swarm. I want to get all the swarms out of the way. If exploders can't get you, they will explode as close as they can get to you. Alright, now for the next egg. Where is it at? Looks like- oh no, I don't like this. This is where I die, probably. I need to go into one of the more claustrophobic caves. 
that's where people die from exploder infestations, by the way. So maybe I should minimize... You know what? I'll go back to the spawn room where it's less closed off and work from there because I want to spend as little time as possible in the enclosed areas. There's an egg in there. So much craziness. I heard another spawn just now. Okay. Call the mule. Okay, what next? Excavate this egg. Go back to the spawn room, because, yeah. Swarm. Oh no, let's get back down. Alright, let's get out of here through the dirt. Go ahead and perch up. Set a insurance. Zip line. And let's get this going. That was pretty dope. I'm getting shot at, but that's perfectly fine, perfectly normal. Oh, uh, maybe this isn't so good though. What is happening? Oh, I see you. Okay. Okay. That was extremely dangerous. That was almost the end. I received a huge amount of damage very quickly from that menace. I completely underestimated how much damage those things can do to you. Okay. Okay, if I fall down there, that's a very big problem. Okay, this is getting spicy. This is getting really crazy. Alright. All that's left is this last... egg. And then I need to extract. That's all I needed to do. 
If I can do that, then I will have completed this challenge. And the glory will all be mine. And yours for experiencing this journey with me. I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm literally shaking right now. <laughs> oh my god. Man, today is just filled with excitement. I got my super fancy epic streamer armor pantaloon thingies. Love it. And I might complete this challenge for the very first time in my Deep Rock Galactic career. Alright. I can take it. Bring your best. Actually, no, I'm running away. I don't know how much Mactera, how much damage Mactera do on Hazard 5.5 solo, but I'm not taking any chances. I will not allow myself to get hit even a single time. Where are you, Drop Pod? How good is this defense position? Not so good. Ah, uh, did I just waste that shield? That's no good. Okay, well. I can't stay there, that's a really bad place to defend. Okay. Don't forget your baby, Molly. What the hell? Molly's not a great parent. Ha, you thought you were spitting. Hell yeah! It is done. Mission accomplished. I better get a promotion after this. I didn't even get Jadas! I didn't even get Jadas, dude. That's all I need is Jadas. Hell yeah. I'm still happy regardless. I've leveled up five times. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Absolutely wonderful. Whew. Well, there you have it. The Elite Deep Dive completed completely solo. No Bosco in under two hours. <laughs> That's, the under two hours part isn't really that impressive, but an hour and 33 minutes... It is a long time, I've got to say. But, I didn't speedrun it. That wasn't my intention. I just wanted to complete it. And that, I did. So, thank you for watching all the way through. And following with me to the very end of this EDD totally solo journey. This has been Psychic Sploob. And, good luck in those caves.